Welcome to Oncology Spotlight, a podcast where we interview those who are working on the war against cancer, brought to you by the Oncoassist team. Thanks very much for joining us today, Andrea. Uh, first of all, could you please briefly introduce yourself and your background? Uh, yes. Hi, my name is Andrea Nampa Guzman. Um, I recently graduated from medical school in Peru. I am currently a research assistant at Roswell Park in Buffalo, New York. Um, I am interested in survivorship and lymphoma. I am part of the social media working group of ASCO. I finished my period uh, this, uh, this annual meeting. Um, I am an uh, ASCO future voice. Great. And w what have you learned so far at ASCO 2023? There was uh, this study called FERGAIN that it was a stage two clinical trial in which they did is they tried to do de-escalation of chemotherapy using PET uh, imaging um, pathology um, pathology response and I think uh, the results are very promising in the three year survival and it's something important especially for cancer survivors that if they can skip the chemotherapy mm. they will have less side effects and certainly is something that uh, will improve the quality of life of many patients. Okay, great, great. So, so that, that study they didn't give chemotherapy, they just treated with what, radiation? Oh, so they they have HER2, they were HER2 positive breast cancer patients, mm. and what they did was, uh, they divided in group of, that they received the HER uh, therapy, mm. plus chemo versus HER therapy without chemo. Okay. They did um, a PET scan to see if they were responding or not, and according to that, they decided to give chemo or not. And then w once the patient uh, qualified for surgery, again, they did a pathology sample and see if they will be free chemo or no chemo. Uh, this may look like a complicated multi-step process, but the idea is that we can personalize the treatment for the patients and avoid uh, the side effects that chemotherapy can have. Excellent, excellent. And do you think there's any future in, you know, in cancer treatment with AI or technology or do you see anything like that that you think can improve the treatment? Uh, I think so far it's very promising. Mm. Um, there are uh, interesting developments. I am not as expert in AI, mm. but I have seen so far that it, it has, we are trying to use it like to write notes because a lot of uh, patient care sadly is uh, documentation. So mm. we are, they are there are people who are trying to, to use it to uh, um, make uh, notes easier and faster and mm. also like try to create databases in an automatic way, but this is still in progress. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, good use case. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, is there any studies or any presentations that have occurred over the weekend that you think will change clinical practice next week? The trial I, talk, I just talked about, uh, it has promising results, but uh, we still need validation for uh, and more uh, studies in order to be implemented, so yeah. not yet. Okay, okay, great. Well, thank you very much, Andrea. Thank much you. appreciated. Thank you for your time.